I'm Tap and welcome back to Let's Play Cats Are Liquid. Um, <laughs> the game's had some updates and uh, some stuff in a future world that uh, looks very interesting, so I thought I'd give it at least one more shot here. Go away, mouse. Um, the game has been updated to have controller support. It originally had like default Unity controller support, but uh, it didn't quite work. Like It was missing the uh, Steam button, so it wasn't particularly playable. Um, the main menu still isn't operable with the uh, controller, but um, you can play the game, you just can't. I see. Wait, what? Interesting. Um, Alright, I forgot. <laughs> How could I forget that? That's like the most fun thing in the whole game. Um, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, you can't operate the main menu with the controller, really. Um, and you can't pause or anything. Um, like, start doesn't do anything. B, which is... I even map B to cancel, and like, the same action as the escape button uh, on the keyboard, but not... didn't really work. But uh, once you get in the game, it's fine. Um, so the... Right. Uh, what was I saying? The game's had some updates. Restart, as you might have noticed, or respawn rather, is a lot faster. It's pretty much instant. I'm not sure, other than other than the controller support and that, I'm not sure what else changed. Maybe some general optimization. Um, oh, they all, um, the getting stuck when you're liquid and going into those little, you know, liquid only the squishy spots. Um, you know that the little tunnel I went in there is liquid. Um, that seems to be fixed now. Um, oh joy. Um, I'm not sure about that design. Oh, it's not instant death. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not an easy thing to go backwards through. Um, interesting. Whatever. We exited. I guess. I guess was that close to the exit. Ah, bounce ring or er, boost pad. Yeah, boost pad. Love those boost pads. <laughs> if you're not familiar, the freaking Sonic Boom for Wii U. Um, the characters just. Eh. Pardon. The characters never shut up about about boost pads and bounce rings and stuff. I... Oh, you just have to go fast enough to go through them. Okay, I see. Um, sense of control in this game is really good, um, especially with the controller. I'm liking it a lot more with the controller now. These pushing things kept her away from the orange liquid. Wait, no, that's, a, that's an enemy spawn point. I don't want to be near that. Never mind. It's one of those games where you lose a horizontal momentum instantly once you stop uh, pressing the button, which is... I mean, it's a style. It's not particularly bad. It makes sense. Here. Why would you do this? Why would you do this to me, you, you blue blocks? They seemed okay, but now they're just jerks. You guys, you know, when you find a- when you, somebody's like, you think they're pretty cool, but they're not, that's what these blocks are. Did you notice there were no solid platforms anymore? Rude! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Ow. It's interesting. Jump is mapped to A. Um, L and R are steam and liquid, and it actually works quite well. You never have to move your fingers. I was a little confused. Um, I pressed pretty much everything but those buttons at the start, but uh, it makes a lot of sense. I do wish you moved faster when you were in Steam, because you... The vertical speed is just terrible. Or not the vertical, the horizontal speed in that form. Oh, wait, no! There we go. 
Did I mention there's there's an Android version of this too? The Android version's free. It's just a buck on PC. Uh, you can get an Android APK if you buy it on on Windows too. You know, in case you want it. It's also on the Play Store, of course. Whoop! I don't tend to play. Oh. You press the. I guess pressing the jump button is what eats those orange or the green blocks. Oh, for Pete's sake. This level wouldn't be too bad if it weren't for the fact that, um. Oh no. Oh no. Being liquid is so slow. Or not being liquid. Air. Steam. Something weird. Oh! It pushes you. F it's like. I see, it's 3D-ish. Oop. And it's insta-kill. Okay, so it's a slightly faded color. Did you move up or left or right? Come on. Excuse me. I love how the kitty face rolls. We haven't- we've barely gotten to see it. But the cat rolls. It's- ah, oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. Oop. Moved in a whole new dimension. We 3D now. Official virtual reality cats. Speaking of virtual reality, I got my PlayStation VR ordered. I'm not as sure about the PC headsets. Um, I, I want a Vive, but everything is Oculus exclusive, and there's no particularly clear list of what is going to end up also on Vive. And. Excuse you. There we go. Off! Oh, rude. You pulled the Sonic on me. Um. Yeah, and PSVR seems to have the comfort edge, too, which I think will be pretty significant. Because um, I've heard... Ah. Press seem to be really liking the comfort of the PSVR lately, and I think it's a pretty relevant factor, because, I mean, it's complicated and fussy, and it's just not easy to get into, as it should, for the... You know, the PC headsets right now. Uh, plus the added complexity of, you know, everything on PC. Um, so PSVR has a pretty strong advantage right now in, in that sense. And I don't really think, you know, slightly higher resolution. Uh, it's 25% 20, more pixels on the headsets, on the PC, current PC headsets versus the PSVR. Which is funny because people, a lot of people pro the PC headsets, people. What are you doing? Oh, it's a bomb. Um, a lot of pro PC headset people, like, they talk about that resolution difference like it's a massive difference. It's one-fourth the difference between 1080p, um, well, relatively speaking, it's one-fourth the difference between 1080p and 720p, which is a significant difference, um, between those, you know, 1080p and 720, but, uh, Everything I've heard about PSVR from people that actually use it, uh, pretty dang positive. Ouch. So we got mines now. That's, that, that much is obvious. I'm not expecting anything to be, you know, super amazy perfect yet, uh, including the, the PC headsets, but uh, PSVR, they really have the right mindset. What? I'm going up, right? Yeah. Ah! I'm really glad this isn't a one-hit kill game, because some of these enemy positions would be really frustrating. If you just instant died. Like that? Like, <sighs> Oh, for Pete's sake. So, definitely going up in difficulty. I... just... come on. Alright. Please be a checkpoint or the exit. Excuse you. Excuse you. Yes. What is this? What are you doing? Go away! I'm- I'm not your friend. Go- go- no. Don't squish me. Don't squish me, bro! Oh god, what? Rude. 
Rude. I could have had one health. Green platform. Oh! Bounce pads. Yeah! Bounce pad! Yeah! Love those bounce pads. Bounce pad! God. You know what's funny? They said before release, everyone was complaining about how much um, how much the characters talked in Sonic Boom. They said, oh yeah, that, that's we fixed that. That's not going to be in the release. And they didn't they didn't change it. It's still there. <laughs> they just I wonder I wonder if Big Red Button is ever going to get a job again. Cuz I mean, I I don't it probably wasn't entirely their fault. Like I'm sure the game was rushed cuz I mean, there's just so much evidence, but um Yeah. It's 2016 and I'm still talking about Sonic Boom. I wonder if the new game, the new Sonic Boom, is going to suck. Um, it probably will. Um, I, it's kind of a shame what they did with that, because they totally poisoned the name for gamers by, you know, releasing a game that was terrible. But the cartoon is good, so they're continuing on with, you know, the branding. But the branding, at least in the game space, is really toxic. At, and they're such in such an awkward position because they can't really cancel the show because of the game. Well, I mean, they could, but I, I don't. I don't think they will. And it's just there's no happy solution there. These levels are a neat way to end the world, or <laughs> end the world. Um, you know, video game world, not the actual world. Now we're in like world five, so. I think there's like nine or ten worlds. So we're nowhere near the exit. Can we beat two worlds? Ah, oh, out of my way! Get in my bed! Ah! Oh. Wait, can we skip? I don't think we can. No, I I just tried to enter the pause menu and then remembered. This is not a game where you can do that. I so strongly recommend any developer. Um, Try to make your game controller friendly from the very start, because it, um, it's just a huge plus to be able to play games like that, and I personally pretty much always play anything that is not a first-person shooter or a real-time strategy game that, you know, is mouse-focused, like, almost anything. We got some foreshadowing that something that was cool will happen. Oh! What's this? We hit the ring. Drama. So the, the ring erases things? Oh. I was supposed to press something. I'm not sure what just happened. I saw the gray square and wasn't sure what to think of it. Couldn't jump, so she had to try and carry it. Ow! Did I like add more mass to myself or something? Press B. Oh! 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 Okay, we're getting interesting. There was no exit. Wee! Boop! And now there was. Uh, button? Oh god, what? Oh no, I need to carry my thing! Dead. Okay, how do I... Uh, we're probably dead because of the timer. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, you only have so much time. Okay, the timer was for the gray block? You only get so much gray block per level? Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. You have to eat your gray block after you use it. Got it. Yeah, this is a cool new mechanic. See, that that's the sort of thing I was hoping to find when I... There we go. When I started back up. So there are more gimmicks and stuff. We haven't seen the end yet. Just had to keep that thing around. Ah, oh, that's, that's... Really annoying that the explosion is tangible. Whee! Seemed very useful. And it was dangerous to go. Ah, oh, no. No Zelda 1 references. Oh. 
out of the way. Excuse you. I'm not sure what these blocks. I'm, I'm gonna call those Parker blocks because they just they're attracted to you and they get in the way. So those are Parker blocks. Yet another room. We. Oh, oh, that that is, that is such a Sonic thing to happen. Speaking of Sonic, I really need to finish Sonic Generations. I started it. Uh, I only got like three, four like act or not act zones in. Need to get back into it. Here I am complaining about bad new Sonic games, but I haven't played all of the good old ones yet. Excuse you! Wait, what? No! Aw, oh, for Pete's sake. Wait, do I not even... Oh, whatever. Uh, uh, no! Awkward. Wait, what? No! Oh. You can go through, right. That ticking sound does horrible things to me. It makes me worry very much. Oh god! There's gonna be spikes at the top. Okay, no there's not. But still, there could have been. What happens when the timer runs out? Oop. It's not entirely used to the back buttons. I should just remove them when I'm not going to use them. Wait, I didn't even read that. The cat wondered where the square came from. Mr. Square Friend. Slip. I'm just going to slide into these mentions over here. How did it sense the world around it? Well, I mean, it's a box. It probably doesn't. Ow! It's just a box. I guess it's because we're a cat, that's why we get a box friend. Up. Oh! Dead. Okay. You... <laughs> you can respawn with the thing still out. Okay. Whoop. Dangerous. Up. Oh, up. Oh, up. Oh, for Pete. Ah! Burp. Burp. Neat background effect on this one. Oh, good. Good. That's, that's exactly where I want that. Alright. What's strange is B works to send out the box in for the gamepad controls, but it doesn't work to... Wait. No, that kind of makes sense. It, so... I guess the game isn't... Crap. Um, it's just ignoring the Unity setup for controller stuff. Because I set B to cancel, which would actually be really dumb, because cancel is, like, escape, which would bring me to the menu if I pressed it right now, when I actually need it for the gray box. But whatever, I didn't know what I was doing. Yes, Parker, that's right. Yeah. The controller support is very much appreciated, it's just, um... So the gray box is us, but we are also the cat, so it's confusing. The cat needed to throw the square upwards. Oh! I see. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it just... I would like to be able to use the controller for the menu, too. That's... an oddly common thing from... I, I guess it's just game devs that, you know, don't actually use controllers, so... They don't really try to use the menu. without a mouse and keyboard. I can't say I get the timing of this one exactly. Maybe if I just put it on the thing. Oh, for Pete's sake. You would think that dropping it as you're jumping would fling it upwards, but no, it doesn't. Stop with the ticking, please. The ticking hurts my soul. Alright, let's be a little more careful this time. Me no lucky the instant kills. Oop! Not what I meant to do. Hmm. Sloop. 
Oh. We were not supposed to sploop down here. This is the no sploop zone. I really want more wall jumping. The wall jumping is super fun, but it's not often. Ah, oh, what the fu- Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, that's just, come on. Fall on, oh, are you kidding? It doesn't fling the square up? This is like surprisingly, okay. Of course I get it when I'm complaining about it. I get it first try. But it's a little weird. Like if I'm already moving up, I would like it so that, you know, I press the button and it goes out. It's going it goes upward. Go away, green block. Nobody likes your style. You're jumping at ceilings, but uh, that's of no use. Okie dokie. This level has like no checkpoints. Checkpoint? Nope. Nope. It's a troll. This room is huge. There's a checkpoint. Out of the way block. Just kept continuing. Ah. No! I won't follow you for your wily ways. Excuse you, Mr. Block. Hey, these are the slightly bouncy blocks. Well, significantly bouncy blocks if you're liquid. Oh. This is neat. Ah! Exit! Wait, what's up here? What's up here? It's a troll bomb spawner? Rude. All right, finally an exit. Are you supposed to use the B? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see how close we are to, all oh, right. Um, close we are to finishing, is that route? That's world, f wait, movement is impossible. Ugh, we got a lot more, Whew. This is fairly lengthy. Um, I'll finish one more world at least. Um, I might continue more later. Oop. Come on. But yeah, this game has quite a lot of levels and it's got a lot more depth than I initially was expecting. You know, it's got a lot more than just the, not sure why performance is going to crap here. Um, wow, that took a lot of our gray block time. No. Ugh, I hate those things. Hey! Go away, mouse. The orange things are going inside the floor. Was that even possible? Wee! This doesn't seem physically possible! Ah, oh, come on! Ah! Uh, oh. so satisfying to go fast and then just lava. Ah, oh, come on, bro. You can't do this to me. There needs to be more levels where I can just go fast. Ah! Oh, I want to go fast. Oh, come on! It feels so good to go fast and then that. And then that is exactly... Thing that I don't want to happen, but it does. Alright. Alright. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake. Gotta go slow. Gotta go slow. Gotta go slower, slower. Movement's just so satisfying, and it's like, nope. There should really be a world with, like, no hazards, but like, oh god damn it. Like it's a maze or something. 
But you can just go real fast if you off, for Pete's sake. If you try to. And yeah, that... Oh, the, oh for Pete's sake. Um, the, the, all the fun stuff is dangerous. Oh, for... Ah. I was like, I can't imagine trying to play this on mobile. It's getting me a little riled up. On desktop with a proper controller. Oh, for fuck! Okay, more than a little riled up, to be quite honest. You know what? No! No! Just respawn me. I'm not gonna take a hit that early. Oh, for fuck! God damn it! How did I forget that? Oh my god. I want to go fast. This must be what Sonic felt when he told his parents that he wanted to be a fast when he grew up. And his parents said no. And his little hedgehog heart was just broken. But you know, he... He said, screw you parents. I'm gonna go fast anyway. And he did. And that's why we all know him now as Sonic the Fast Hog. Oh fuck, god damn it. I'm so not about being cautious. It is so fun to not be cautious. Why must you do this to me? I wanna wanna go fast. This is why I can't play precision platformers, because Well, unless they're about going fast, like but with not death. But they're always with death. Like, Velocity 2x, usually you don't die too much in that. So you can go... You can go fast. Ah. The cat was trapped inside the box. Just need to get out. Why, why is that... Why is he... Why is the gray box out? Oh. The game is referencing the thing. Do I gotta press something? Oh, I see. It's a co-op level. It's a self-co-op level. All right. Yeah, I would love to see a game made with this exact. They, they, the physics are great. It's super enjoyable. Uh, I would love to see a game with less hazards, with basically this exact movement. Because the movement is so fun and satisfying. It's just, why do I keep dying? I just want to do this. I want to do this and float around and be fast and blah, 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 and no none of the lavas. Like, make it a speed run game and penalize me time if I get hit. That way, it's just as satisfying. It's super satisfying to get around, but you know the hazards are still bad. Uh, I just lose time instead of health. That's something I think a lot more games need to try. Like precisiony games. There had to be a reason the square was helping her. Um, just. Your penalty is time and score, not you have to play the level again. Because that's not fun. Playing the level again a bunch of times, generally, you know, I'm not against difficulty in games, but having to redo all of the not difficult stuff to get to back to the part where I died at, that's not even difficulty, that's just tedium. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's gonna be dead. Crap. I didn't- I didn't know there was- that was a thing for the gray square. But yeah, like, this game, with timers for every level, but touching the orange adds, like, 10 seconds to your timer, and you get ranked? That- that would be real interesting. Because it would encourage going fast, but, you know, you, you- you need to know the level all the same. And being hit would sting just as much to, you know, a speedrunner. But not so much to me playing through the first time. I think that would be, I think that's something worth considering here. Because these physics are real damn good. I really do enjoy that. Oops. And in a platformer, physics are like the number one thing. Like level design, even, you know, even great levels, if the character isn't fun to move around, damn it. Uh, the, 
it doesn't matter if you have like the world's best levels. I'm gonna be like, nope, this is lame. We see, look at that. That is that is good and fun, and I love it, and I want to do more of it. That was awkward. There we go. Oh, f f f f <laughs> Nope. Nope. Dot ABI. Excuse you. Okay, don't get squished. Don't get squished. Don't get squished from the other direction. Go, Mr. Ms. The Parker block needs to get out of my way. There we go. I keep dying right at the end. Oh, I, I guess I'm gonna do another world. We'll take a quick peek at the next world, um, on all... I'll decide later if I want to do another video. This is just gonna be a very slow series where I play the whole game, but over the course of, like, ten years. Nah, I'll, I'll consider it. I... I'm just... Ah! I'm at my frustration limit for today. I've played very relaxing games until today, or until this. Though I need to play... I need to play a bullet hell game, like... I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be... I'm gonna fuck. <sighs> I'm gonna be up to that. I'm gonna need- I need to play a relaxing game again before that now. I guess I should have considered that before I started this. It's, it's mostly my own fault, but... Wait, what? I was supposed to send a block or something and not... Wait, no? I guess I just gotta go back. There's just backtracking as a thing now. Ah, oh, fu- It- wait, what? I... I'm confused? I'm very confused. I'm a fucking fuck those... F ah. The instant kill stuff could stand to be a different color, honestly. From the normal hurt. Or they could just stand to not be instant kill stuff. I'm fine with that, too. Whatever. So, I do need to keep going this way. Momentum, all momentum lost. I don't know. There's obviously something I'm missing here. Oh, what, what? Uh. <sighs> Floor under her was disappearing. Alright, so we got disappear blocks now. I do like the different particle effects that, you know, the, the visual elements are obviously... She just noticed. The color's changed again. So you should get out. No, it doesn't. So there's like three more worlds. Um, yeah, generally, the graphics are obviously extremely minimal, but uh, sort of particle effects at least make things... You know, it, it honestly is more of a difference than the... Um, the level colors, you know, because it's just, that's, that's a pretty simple one. Right, I'm going to finish this first world, full, or first map with all of the purple things. And the disappeared blocks, oh god. And then, we'll call it a video. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake. No. Supposed to be a shorter level because it's the first one. All right, there we go. Annoying. All right. But yeah, this is. I will say I'm pretty impressed. Definitely for a buck, this is pretty impressive. It's not you know visually super fancy or anything, but um, there's a lot of stuff going on mechanics-wise. I just do wish I could go faster than I can go. But yeah, well, I'll probably try and finish this. Um, oh, just not tonight.